Welcome to Campus Trailer of the Year Awards 2024. Sponsored by the power of Red Art. We're here on the foothills of Mount Kapitar, just outside of Narrabri, New South Wales. And we're taking campers on the road for a week to test them. Truly drive them, sleep in them, use them, cook them. What do I have behind me? But a brand new brand to the Australian market, the X Series. An east-west two metre long double bed and also two metre long double bunks for the kids. I can fit in those bunks and that's my kind of thing. We're pretty lucky here at Camper Trailer of the Year Awards. We get to see some fantastic trailers coming into the market. We get to see new models all the time. But what we don't necessarily get is to launch a model. I was talking with the business development manager, Kelvin, and he said what they were trying to focus on was to bring campers to the market that had features that other campers don't have. The X Surge has a capacity. Because when I opened up that front door, you can see a queen bed stretched out in an east-west longitude. Look to the front, you've got a TV and some nice shelving. And look over to the right and you've got a double bunk. Indeed, this is the only camper on show at this event that has dedicated bedding for a full family of four. Now that roof rack has a static safe working load of 500 kilos. If your family is bigger than four, you could put a rooftop tent up there. Now we're talking about dedicated bedding for six people. That's something that no other camper here on show has. After a long day on the road, is there anything more appealing than just hopping into a camper and being able to go straight to bed? It's this characteristic that characterizes the X-Series RV X-Surge from other 15-foot hybrids of this body shape. You see, this camper's not a hybrid. This is a pod camper. And that means that it's not intended for its users to stand up inside. Instead, what this camper offers is a tempting sleeping space with a queen bed and two bunks which are surprisingly long at two meters each. In fact, because of the east-west orientation, they're able to extend the full width of the camper. Now, this is a real point of differentiation between this camper and others of a similar body shape. And the beauty here is for the main bed, you have a 100 millimeter pocket spring mattress. And then on the bunks, it's 70 millimeter pocket spring. Now, I reckon that's probably pretty unique in campers of this type. Underneath the X-Series X-Surge are a pair of 75 litre water tanks, which is not bad. It should get a family of four around about four to seven days if you treat your water carefully. And in terms of power, there's a single 150 amp hour Volta lithium battery. Now that battery is charged by Redux excellent Manager 30 charger, which prioritizes solar. And you can keep track of your charging using the Redux Rogue TVMS, which has an app as well, so you can easily check your status of charge what sort of power you're getting in from your solar blankets and how much you've got left to use. The kitchen is at the back and she opens up and it's a marvellous big wide open kitchen. That's what makes this thing stand out. You've got that teardrop camper kitchen and you've got that space and roominess and caravan convenience of having a whole open plan storage area. You could quite easily just walk up with a couple of duffel bags, throw in your clothes, hop in and get going and sort it all out later. This just makes it much simpler to get on the road and get off road quicker. So there's a Mitch proof door, there's a couple of windows and there is a roof vent. But for my money, I reckon a, probably a couple of internal fans would probably be useful to stop this space from getting sticky on hot nights. And there is the option to purchase air conditioning as well. And I think that's probably the way that I would go. Outside the 270 degree, Firefly awning deploys without the need for any tent poles whatsoever. And although the kitchen layout is basic, I actually really like it. The kitchen sink and stove combo is on a pivot, and that means that the cook or the bottle washer isn't left forced standing between the cooking space and the entry to the camper. Uh, in addition to that, the real standout feature on this camper is the size of the rear pantry space. It extends the full width of the pantry. It creates an area for both cooking preparation and presentation. And there's lots of spacious cupboards above that preparation space for keeping your dry goods. Towing the X-Series was unsurprisingly not that easy because it is a big camper. We had to watch ourselves through some of the tighter tracks just in case we'd clip any trees. 
and rolling down Mount Kapitar in the wet, soggy conditions, it did slip around a bit. The 200 series up front was actually a really good fit for that camper. It had plenty of power and its wide footprint felt really safe and secure on the road. I'd recommend something like the 200 if you were looking to tow an X-Series like the camper we saw. Off-road though, it actually went really well. It rides on Cruise Master's independent trailing arm suspension and it was soaking up bumps exceptionally. When we threw it through the moguls, to much to our surprise, there was no contact with the ground. Its clearance was surprisingly good and in hindsight, we had a decent look and it actually sits quite high off the ground. So off-road, big tick, on-road, get something with power to tow it. Now the X-Surge has its bones made in China. What happens then is they bring over the cabin back to Australia and we fit it out with all sorts of great high-end componentry like Red Arc's Red Vision, uh, Red Arc's Rogue management system. It's just bleeding goodness. So what's this thing made of? Well, the entire exterior is an XPS foam that's sandwiched between two fiberglass panels. Now that's what gives it its light weight to give you that payload we've been talking about. It's also what gives it its strength as well. And that 30 mil of XPS foam, that's insulation. We had this thing running all day in the sun doing photo shoots and touring and four wheel driving. And at the end of the day, I explicitly wanted to check the temperature of the cabin. Why? Because it's painted black. Black absorbs heat. So you're kind of expecting this thing to get hot. I opened up the door, stuck my head in, and it was still cool inside after being in the Queensland sun all day. Now what I'd like to do is to test that XPS foam paneling and take it into the high country, get it into some snow and see how it works with the cold because it worked with the heat very, very well. At just under $49,000, uh, this camper provides the sort of home away from home without the height that you tend to get in caravans. It has the sort of versatility on the layout inside that would allow you to use it for family holidays as your kids are growing up, to take it away on a weekend for fishing with your mates, or when you become a couple, whatever stage you're at, you'd be hard pressed to find a hard-walled camper with this sort of versatility for less coin. Why no one else has figured out that layout with east-west main and east-west bunks at full width of a camper, it truly surprises me, but sometimes those best innovations are a light bulb moment. And someone at X-Series, they had it. It is fantastic. I fit across the bunks and I was comfortable on the main bed. But what really stood out is you can have all of that and your Cruise Master suspension and your Red Arc BMS for only 47 grand. It is a bargain.